Right man cavers, something a little bit different. I've bought a new battery tester. So let's test this thing. See how it works. <laughs> Don't only do reviews, but thought you guys might want to see what I got. Back in a mo. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. Right, here is our battery tester which come off of Evil Bay. It's an Ansel BST100. So let's see what we got in here. I haven't had this out. The postman's just bought it. I have a battery here which I suspect isn't in the best of fell. So what have we got? Well, here's a tester with a little screen and a book of destructions. Here we go, I don't know what that says on there. Right, let's work this thing out. I don't think we need destructions. So I think, looking on previous reviews before I bought this thing, it says you have to put in the battery, the battery input or something. Ah, what have we got here? Amp hours, 80 amps. Right, so if we go plus on there, Oh, wow, my little cables are all done up with a thing. Look, let's get these unraveled. Let's get these undone and see what's going on. Here we go. Oh, I have some nice, nice size cables on here. So let's put our plus to plus. Oh, oh, look at that. We've got some technical stuff. Battery test. Let me pull this protective screen off here. There we go. <clears throat> Yeah, that don't look a bad little tool. What's all the cranking test, charging test, review, data, language? Right, so let's do a battery test. Enter. Regular flooded battery. AGM flat plate. AGM spiral gel or EFB. I don't know, regular flooded I assume. Be an acid. Enter. CAA. CA. Ah, CCA it says on here, look, CCA, right, CCA, enter, CCA 800 amps, so will this go up to 800 amps, oops, we're going too far, right, right, there we go, 800 amps, that's what it says on the battery here, where are we? There we go. CCA 800 amps. So I'm assuming this is right. I used to have an old drop tester where it heated a wire up till it glowed. But that broke and I thought, let's get one of these high fangled ones. Enter. Testing. Is this thing getting hot? So let's see. Oh. Healthy. 60% healthy. Charged 48%. 12.28 volts internal resistance 4.81 mega ohms good recharge so our battery 60 percent healthy so not brilliant but it says it's 60 percent well this is a lot more accurate than my old um drop tester there you go so we've seen what our prestige platinum battery has in it and there's all the data this little you know, this is quite a cool gadget. If you want to know how much it was, that was 25 quid delivered off eBay. And it's this Ansel thing. It says on there, look, Ansel. And all the instruction books with it. Let's have a look. The good thing is, it looks like... All the instructions are in English. There's no, no, there's no foreign language on here, which I do like. I like that the instructions are just in English, and we ain't got to go through ten other languages to get to it. So I'm quite impressed with this little gadget, if that's accurate, but there we go. There is the Ansel BST-100.
and I assume what do we do now escape test a restart oh, there we go so we can do a crank and test what's a crank and test oh uh, you got to start your engine it looks like oh I see you have it on your car and then start it and that tells you all that business right okay Oh, you can do charging test as well, so you can obviously put it on your car, and that'll tell you if your battery's charging. Review data. Yeah, there's our data from our battery test again. So, yeah, I'm quite impressed with this little gadget. That looks all right. So, yeah, I think for 25 quid, that isn't bad. It don't take no internal batteries by the look of it. No. They're all... Don't seem too bad. <laughs> well, there you go. So, we have a battery tester. Because we've got so many batteries around this yard. I thought we need a tester to actually test these damn things. And the ones what are no good, we can put for scrap. And we'll know the ones that are good. And there we go. That can live in its little box. Till I've done. There we go. Right. This is it. I'm off. Done my little review of this battery tester. So if any of you guys are after one, 25 quid on eBay seems to do a decent job. Right, I'm going. I've now got to go and get an engine and a pump off a trailer. Those of you familiar with the channel will know exactly what I'm on about. That's going to be the next video. Bye bye for now. Ha <laughs> ha.